Come in. Hi, Nana. Hi, Emma. Welcome to Science Knocks. What are we talking about today? Tomatoes. Yep. Wild tomatoes and domesticated tomatoes. Let's talk to the researcher. What do wild tomatoes even look like? Well, wild tomatoes are a lot smaller than the, the nice red tomatoes, so they're a, they're a lot slower growing and they're a lot smaller. And the tomatoes they produce are, are like little tiny currant tomatoes. Um, so they're, they're not as good to eat as the commercial tomatoes, but they're um, more resistant to the white fly, so they're able to fight off the white fly and stop them damping them. What do the white flies do? So white flies, they're little tiny flying, little tiny flies, little white flies. And they eat on lot. They eat lots and lots of different plants, but um, they especially like tomatoes. And uh, they feed on tomatoes by um, sticking their mouth parts into the plant. Um, and their mouth parts are like little straws. So the white fly um, insert the straws into the plant, and they suck up the liquid um, from the plant. Um, and this makes the plant sick because um, it takes all the fluid from the plant. So the plant doesn't have any any liquid left. Uh, and the white fly also make the plant sick, so they, they you know, like how you get a cold. Um, so they almost, they almost give the tomato plants a cold, so because they transmit viruses and, and put them into the plant. How can we use the wild tomatoes to help our tomatoes that we eat? Well, hopefully, we can take the the part of the wild tomato that makes them much tougher and we can put them into the commercial tomatoes that we eat um, and hopefully we can therefore make the, the big nice red tomatoes that we eat a lot um, tougher and a lot better able to fight off the white fly. Thank you Mr. McDaniel.